Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I wanted to show you how to identify and treat powdery mildew on your cucumbers and related plants. And right away, these are my standard uh, 11 inch cucumbers. You can see on the leaves, white powder, white powder, white powder, white specks. That is powdery mildew. And it usually comes in my area about well, today's August 1st, towards the end of July and middle of August. It likes the heat and humidity and it will spread across your entire cucumber, yellow the leaves and kill the leaves off. It doesn't really hurt the cucumbers, although it can grow in the cucumbers, but as the leaves die out, your plant will die out. The easiest way to treat it is to spray it with baking soda mixed in one gallon of water. I use one tablespoon of baking soda in a gallon of water for the cucumbers. This is specifically for the cucumbers. You could use a little bit more. As your temperature goes up, if it's 90, 95 degrees, 100 degrees, you want to use, you know, not, you want to use one tablespoon of baking soda. But if it's cooler, you could use a little bit more. And here's a container I use. It's a one gallon container. I put in a tablespoon of baking soda. The other thing that you can see on this cucumber is it's starting to get yellow dots. Now those yellow dots could be from the powdery mildew, could be from insects, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to spray the outer leaves and the under leaves with soapy water. The soapy water will kill soft body insects and this is kind of a way to maintain your cucumber. I'm also going to give this cucumber some liquid fertilizer. I'll give it a gallon of water with a measured tablespoon of miracle Grow. Um, as a direct you to use that. You can use a more organic liquid fertilizer like fish emulsion, whatever you have or whatever you want to use. And basically, I actually forgot to pump up the container, so sorry about that, but you're going to watch me pump up the container. That's the baking soda and water. And in the smaller sprayer, which I like to use for the soapy water, it is the soapy water. And I measure that one teaspoon per pint. And I like this one because if you press it down, it makes a nice jet. Hmm. I'm having some technical issues here. I want to spray on this though. There we go. I also like it because this button, I recommend you getting a sprayer like this for soapy water, is when you push it down, you can then insert the uh, button and it keeps spraying. So the first thing you want to do is spray everything with soapy water. If you want to tap your tomato, I mean your cucumber, you can do that. That will get rid of all the flying insects, um, like the bees and stuff you like. All the pests won't go far from the leaves. But you basically get the idea. You want to spray the underside of the leaves and the top of the leaves just to kill out anything that might be there. This won't hurt your cucumber. The reason that I sprayed the soapy water first is because I don't want to wash off the baking soda spray. So once you spray the underside of your leaves and the upper parts of your leaves with the soapy water, you're just going to come on over to your baking soda spray. You're going to spray all the leaves, but really, soak down where the powdery mildew is and this sprayer is a little bit flat but you get the idea so you really don't be afraid to soak it down soak down your cucumber soak down the powdery mildew with the with the baking soda spray and that should take care of it you can repeat it every three days for I don't know about a week or so but you'll notice that the powdery mildew does disappear with this treatment if you enjoyed this video please check out my blog at www therustedgarden.blogspot.com and check out my YouTube videos. I now have over 60 garden videos. Thanks.